Hello everyone, welcome to Wrestling with Green Pinstripes. On this episode, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the WWE Superstar Shakeup. This is not going to be a review of Raw or SmackDown of that week, but rather just my thoughts on the superstars that switch brands from SmackDown to Raw and vice versa. So let's get on with it, shall we? First, we're going to talk about the superstars that went from SmackDown to Raw, and the first superstar that went from SmackDown to Raw was Jinder Mahal. He came with the United States Championship, and of course uh, his uh, comrade Sunil Singh came uh, with uh, Jinder Mahal to Monday Night Raw. It doesn't say on Wikipedia that uh, Samir Singh uh, is uh, heading to Raw, but he did confirm on Instagram that he will be heading to Raw upon his return from his ACL injury. So Wikipedia, check your your sources, and uh, Please change it as soon as possible. Thank you very much. So uh, Jinder Mahal took the U.S. title to Monday Night Raw, and I was thinking at, at first impression that the U.S. title would head back to Raw, and the Intercontinental title would head back to SmackDown. But that was not the case, because uh, upon Jinder Mahal like uh, returning to Raw, he had to face Jeff Hardy in, his, in the opening bout of that match, and uh, Jinder Mahal lost uh, the title to Jeff Hardy, the U.S. Championship on Raw. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty pretty embarrassing for Mahal. I mean, it came to Monday Night Raw with the U.S. title and immediately loses it on his first night on back on Raw. So there's that. The second uh, group that went to Raw is a female stable, the Riot Squad. Uh, I mean, like, uh, it's... Nothing uh, like a uh, nothing too special. It's pretty much a lateral move because the absolution was uh, pretty much done. So they were like a uh, pretty much the riot squad. It was just uh, filling the void that absolution left behind. So no big deal. I'm not too big on it. So hmm. And uh, the third uh, tag team, technically tag team that uh, moved uh, to Raw are really free agents, but they were recently on SmackDown, Is uh, are Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. On the Raw After Mania, Owens and Zayn were free agents on that show. They were technically fighting for a contract on Raw, but uh, the following week, uh, they were overruled by Stephanie McMahon. Uh, Stephanie signed uh, both uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to Raw as a tag team, so... Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually for it. I personally did not want Kevin Owens to leave Monday Night Raw last year. I personally wanted him to stay on that brand for a long time. I think moving to SmackDown was a mistake on, uh, on the part of WWE moving Kevin Owens to SmackDown because I, I felt that when Kevin Owens moved to SmackDown, the show got worse, and then when Kevin Owens left SmackDown back to Raw, the uh, show got much better. So yeah, I mean, like a. Uh, I think uh, Kevin Owens uh, being back on Raw is the right move. As for Sami Zayn, he's technically a tag team with Kevin Owens, so I think both of them are going to be destined to be on the same brand forever. Whether it's Raw or SmackDown, they're going to be. I think they're going to be destined to be on the same brand. But uh, who knows? Uh, maybe they'll split up for good, and Sami Zayn could move to SmackDown as a singles heel. So who knows about that? And in the same segment that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were introduced uh, as members of the Raw roster, Kurt Angle came out and told uh, The Miz that uh, he's going to be moving to SmackDown. So, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I actually like the idea of Miz being back on SmackDown. Like I said with Kevin Owens, that he shouldn't have left uh, Monday Night Raw. I think The Miz uh, shouldn't have left SmackDown because uh, when The Miz uh, left uh, SmackDown to go to Raw last year, SmackDown got way worse, in my opinion, when The Miz left. So, yeah, I'm I'm actually pretty happy that The Miz is back on SmackDown. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. The next uh, move from SmackDown to Raw is Zack Ryder. He did not announce it. It wasn't announced on Raw. He announced it on Twitter himself. And uh, my reaction is, okay. He wasn't really doing anything on SmackDown, and he's probably not going to be doing anything on Raw either so yeah just another guy to fill the void pretty much 
the uh, next uh, tag team to move from SmackDown to Raw is Breezango. And I personally think it is the right move because they've done everything they could on SmackDown, especially with the Fashion Files. And that was, uh, that was an entertaining segment on SmackDown. But if, unfortunately, things have to come to an end on that show. So I think that Fashion Files could be revived on Raw, but it will they will have the luxury of having it longer on Raw because Raw is three hours. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to Fashion Files on Raw than SmackDown because uh, SmackDown is only two hours, strictly two hours, while Raw is three hours with a little bit of an overlay after 11 p.m. So yeah, I'm really happy that... Uh, Breezango is on Raw because uh, the Raw is uh, historically the entertainment brand. So you got some entertainment. And the next uh, superstar to move from SmackDown to Raw is Natalia. And um, I think it's a move because Ronda Rousey is on Raw. And Natalia and Ronda Rousey are close friends. So yeah, I think uh, this is uh, going to be done to form a tag team between Natalia and Ronda Rousey. So. I guess it could work, but uh, let's see what happens. So with Natalia, it's a wait and see. Next up is the the move to Raw is Mojo Raleigh, and it was announced on YouTube. So uh, just like Zack Ryder, eh, nothing too special. And, but I do like the phrase that Mojo Raleigh announced on YouTube, uh, Monday Night Raleigh. I mean, that could be a good uh, t-shirt slogan, but uh, I think it would be too soon right now because of the Monday Night Rollins t-shirt. So let's see what happens. And uh, next up, the move from SmackDown to Raw is Dolph Ziggler. So, um, yeah, I think that's uh, the right move because Ziggler has done everything he could on SmackDown. So I think moving to Raw is the right move now that uh, he'll probably be in a little bit of longer matches on Raw. So, I mean, I guess uh, like uh, with a rare Tuesday night off, uh, he could do other projects outside of WWE. So uh, let's see what happens. I'm not like a uh, too big of a fan of Z- Dolph Ziggler any personally. So... Let's see what happens. And the next uh, move to Raw is technically an NXT call-up, Drew McIntyre. And uh, he's going to be paired with a with Dolph Ziggler to form a tag team together. So, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I am happy that Drew McIntyre is having a second run on WWE's main roster. But, uh, I mean, like, uh, let's see what happens uh, with the tag team of Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. I mean, yeah, they did uh, form a brief tag team back in the first uh, brand split, near the end of the first brand split, when both of them were on SmackDown. But um, we don't know what's going to happen. So let's see what happens uh, with uh, Drew McIntyre now on Monday Night Raw and as a tag team. Because uh, when he returned to WWE, he was on NXT as a singles competitor. So... We'll see what happens, but I prefer, personally, that Drew McIntyre return to singles competition on Raw. Maybe win the Intercontinental title, or probably the Universal title in the future. Let's see what happens. Next up to move from SmackDown to Raw is Mike Kanellis. It was announced on Twitter. And, um, I meant, like, uh, Mike Kanellis has been through a lot as of late because uh, he had, a, like, a painkiller addiction that he went to rehab for. Upon it, like a uh, shortly upon uh, debuting in WWE, he had to go to rehab for a painkiller addiction, and then uh, his wife Maria Canales uh, got pregnant. So, yeah, I mean, like uh, it's been a pretty crazy time for Mike Canales in the WWE, but now he's on Raw. I mean, like I guess we'll see Maria back on Raw when uh, she returns from maternity leave. Let's see what happens. Next up to move from SmackDown to Raw is The Ascension, Connor and Victor. It was announced on their Instagram. And uh, I, like, uh, don't really think it's a big deal. It's just uh, another tag team on the move. Not not too big of a deal. But uh, I guess uh, it will continue with the continuity from Fashion Files because Connor and Victor were frequent were frequently on Fashion Files with uh, Tyler Breeze and Fandango. So, I guess uh, the magic continues. And uh, the last uh, person uh, announced uh, from SmackDown to Raw televised is Bobby Roode. 
Now, I personally think it's the right move to go from SmackDown to Raw because uh, I think Bobby Roode could turn heel and he could probably be one of the top heels on Monday Night Raw. So, yeah, I think uh, I think it's the right move. And uh, I mean, like his SmackDown run hasn't been that great, but uh, it was mainly because he was booked in a situation where he doesn't really excel in that much. I mean, like a, he's all right as a face, but as a heel, he is way better as a heel. So let's hope that Bobby Roode does turn heel on Monday nights. And after Raw went off the air, it was announced that Chad Gable will be moving to the Raw brand. And uh, I actually, like, uh, don't mind the idea. He's done everything he could on SmackDown. And, uh, like, uh, maybe he'll reform the tag team American Alpha with Jason Jordan. Who knows? But uh, he did say on his uh, Twitter that he wants to be a singles competitor. So let's see what happens. Maybe as a singles competitor, maybe American Alpha reunited. Who knows what's going to happen? And uh, the following night, the Superstar Shakeup continued on SmackDown. So the first uh, star to move from Raw to SmackDown is Jeff Hardy, who recently won the United States title the previous night. So yeah, the U.S. title is back on SmackDown. I was a little bit disappointed, not with Jeff Hardy, but because I wanted the Intercontinental title back on SmackDown. But uh, Jeff Hardy is a good consolation prize, so... I mean, like, I'm alright. I'm alright with uh, the U.S. title being back on SmackDown, but yeah, I am pretty happy that Jeff Hardy is back on the show where he won the WWE title. And he won the World Heavyweight title on two occasions as a member of the SmackDown roster. So, yeah, a three time world champion was on, on SmackDown in the past. So, yeah, I am pretty happy that Jeff Hardy is back on the brand where he won a world title. And uh, next up uh, to move from Raw to SmackDown is uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Kind of knew, kind of saw that coming because uh, the general manager of SmackDown is Paige. So let's see what happens. But uh, personally, I do not want uh, Paige uh, managing uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville at this point. I think uh, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville should uh, probably like a uh, go on it without page and maybe they split up to become singles competitors in my book so yeah i might mean, like a uh, let's see what happens and next up to move from raw to smackdown is samoa joe and this one really surprised me that samoa joe would be moving from raw to smackdown so yeah, I mean, like, uh, I like uh, was personally surprised because uh, he was uh, going to be starting a feud with Roman Reigns, but now it's going to be coming to an end at Backlash because uh, Samoa Joe is now on SmackDown. But uh, he is going to face uh, Roman Reigns at Backlash, uh, so it will be an interbrand match for that for that pay per view where Samoa Joe and Roman Reigns will face each other, and uh, they'll settle their score in a short rivalry. That's all I could say. They're going to settle their score in a short rivalry. And then after Backlash, uh, Samoa Joe will be moving on to SmackDown uh, superstars in the rivalries going forward. So that is that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy that uh, Samoa Joe is on the same brand as AJ Styles. So maybe they could recreate their TNA magic. Let's see what happens. Next up to move uh, to SmackDown is an NXT call-up. It's Sanity, Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, and Killian Dane. One uh, notable exception was Nikki Cross. So she is staying behind in NXT to to go to a singles competitor role. So that was a bit interesting. But I can understand that Nikki Cross uh, stayed behind in NXT because. Uh, because uh, there were like a um, there were like a lot of call ups uh, that went uh, to uh, the main roster, so they need to, somebody to stay as a top babyface in the NXT Women's Division. But yeah, I am uh, I am pretty happy that Sanity is on SmackDown. Well, actually, they did not debut on SmackDown yet. They've only like uh, only appeared on vignettes. So when they appear on SmackDown, it's going to be pretty interesting. But think of this: AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, and Eric Young. All in the same brand. Is this Tuesday Night Impact or what? And next up to move from Raw to SmackDown is Big Cass. Now, personally, I am not too big of a fan of it. I mean, like, I wasn't uh, really a big fan of Big Cass uh, as a singles competitor when he turned heel against uh, Enzo Amore, who is now he who must not be named because uh, Enzo Amore left the WWE on bad terms. So, yeah, I mean, like, a. Uh, 
I'm at like a let's see what happens. A big cast moving to SmackDown. I mean, he's technically returning from an injury because he got injured in the August uh, after SummerSlam. The I believe the Raw after SummerSlam or the Raw following uh, the SummerSlam week. So yeah, I'm at like a, it's just a just another guy for now. But uh, let's see what happens. And the w- next up to move from Raw to SmackDown is Asuka. And I am personally not surprised that Asuka moved to SmackDown because uh, at Fastlane, Asuka showed up at the pay-per-view and chose to face uh, Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's title at WrestleMania 34, which uh, she was unsuccessful. So, like, uh, personally, I am not surprised. Uh, and plus, uh, there are a lot of he- heel women on SmackDown. So I think uh, Asuka being one of the top uh, faces on that uh, show is... Uh, helps to balance it out and i think uh, asuka has done a lot she could on raw so maybe a move to smackdown would uh would probably be a change of scenery and uh, like a keep uh, to let it sink in there are now two of their top uh, japanese superstars on smackdown shinsuke nakamura and asuka and it doesn't surprise me that asuka is still a babyface uh, because uh, shinsuke nakamura is a heel on smackdown so I guess they needed to keep one uh, one heel and one baby face. Well, let's see what happens. Next up to move from Raw to SmackDown is Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Personally, I love this move. I wish uh, they were on SmackDown when the brand split returned. Uh, they shouldn't have not gone off to Raw because they were completely lost in the shuffle. I mean, yeah, there was Finn Balor when he was drafted to Raw from NXT in 2016, but he got injured a couple weeks later. So Gallus and Anderson were completely lost in the shuffle on Raw without uh, without anybody to like uh, guide them to the right direction. I mean, yeah, they had a brief reunion with Finn Balor back in January, but uh, that only lasted up till like March or something like that. So yeah, I mean, like, uh, I personally am a fan of this move. Uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson on SmackDown reuniting with AJ Styles. So, yeah, the club is back and it's going to be too sweet. Next up to move from Raw to SmackDown is The Bar, Cesaro and Sheamus, which also surprised me because uh, I never expected The Bar would be moving to SmackDown. And, uh, of course, uh, they were like a face the. Uh, facing Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt for the Raw Tag Team titles at the Greatest Royal Rumble. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I am happy that Sheamus is on SmackDown. I personally wanted him on SmackDown, and he personally said that he wanted to be on SmackDown on the night of the draft. If you saw that video where he wasn't happy going to Raw, he said he, he wanted to be on SmackDown. So, yeah. I think uh, Cesaro got his wish two years later, and uh, me too. I mean, like, uh, the one sad part about it is that Mar Ronell is not on SmackDown, so I won't he- hear his uppercut party song. But uh, yeah, I am personally happy that the bar is on SmackDown, and I am looking forward to the rivalry that they're going to have with the Usos, the New Day, the Bludgeon Brothers, Sanity. So I think uh, the SmackDown tag team division is going to be. is looking up that's all i could say it's looking up and i have a feeling that has road dog's name written all over because he is a tag team specialist so the only thing he has done right as a, as a booker is the tag team division as a like a for the rest of the smackdown show i think it should belong to ryan ward personally i think ryan ward should write most of the show and road dog should only write the tag team that's how how i would do it and next up to move from Raw to SmackDown is our truth Meh, not, not a big deal. I mean, like, uh, R-Truth uh, was uh, coming off uh, an injury from Raw, so he wasn't really doing anything on Raw, and now he's on SmackDown. And I mean, like, uh, I'm okay with it. I mean, it's not really a big deal, but it's not like uh, the R-Truth from, like, uh, way back in 2008 when he was, like, in relevant feuds. I mean, this is, like, a 2018 R-Truth is in his mid-40s. And uh, I think he's on the tail end of his career because I'm probably guessing in a couple of years he's going to retire. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, like, uh, R-Truth is a funny guy. So I can't wait to see what uh, funny antics he does uh, on SmackDown. So I'm all right with it. I mean, like, he did uh, return to WWE on the SmackDown brand in 2008. So I guess it's welcome home. 
And uh, the last person to move uh, to SmackDown is uh, the NXT call-up, Andrade Cien Almas, the former NXT champion. And uh, the best part about it is that he will be accompanied with Zelina Vega. Personally, I love this move. And uh, I am glad that Zelina Vega is going to be featured uh, in a more prominent role on Tuesday nights. So, like, um, I think uh, she probably may not be just the manager of Andrade Cien Almas. Maybe she could be the manager of guys that uh, need that extra push to the next level. Heck, uh, maybe she could even manage, uh, like, uh, the former Absolution. Who knows? I mean, like, uh, the sky's the limit on that part. So, yeah, I am pretty happy that there's going to be a manager coming to SmackDown. I, I'm personally liking that idea. So, um... Overall, with the Superstar Shake-Up, uh, I'm all right with it. I mean, like, uh, a lot of people say that SmackDown really won, but personally, in my opinion, I think both brands got a even balance because uh, last year in the Superstar Shake-Up, SmackDown got raped by Raw, so I think now, I think this year, both brands, like, balanced it out, and, uh, like, uh, all the losses that SmackDown had going to Raw, it wasn't really that big of a deal because most of them were guys that weren't going to be used on SmackDown, so I guess uh, them moving to Raw... It's a uh, kind of a, like a kind of like filling the TV time for Raw because it's a three hour show, and maybe those mid card guys uh, could be pushed as main eventers. So, you know, the like AJ Styles mentioned on Talking Smack last year that uh, SmackDown makes stars and Raw takes them. Maybe this year it could be the reverse. Raw makes the stars and SmackDown will take them in 2019. Who knows? But uh, I can tell that SmackDown, they bolstered up their roster because there is a road to SmackDown 1000 coming on October 16th of this year. So, yeah, I am uh, I am looking forward to the 1000 episode of SmackDown. So, I mean, like it was a it was like an all right uh, superstar shakeup and nothing too special. But uh, yeah, I mean, like uh, both brands uh, got an even balance. I mean, Raw got mid carters who they could probably push to the main event and smackdown finally got some name brand talent who will like uh, people will watch every tuesday night to see them so yeah i mean like uh, i'm like i'm pretty satisfied with this superstar shakeup, but uh let's see what happens with booking because uh, remember it's not where they it's not where they go it's how it's how creative books them that's all i could say and that these are my thoughts of the Superstar Shakeup, and uh, this is Wrestling with Green Pinstripes, and I'll see you next time.